Hi hey, all, welcome back to the channel and today we're back at the bench and I uh, figured I'd do a quick video on my current uh, RC four wheel drive build which is the uh, FJ Cruiser, the Galande 2. Uh, so I figured I'd go over the body pieces uh, of what is involved when you get this kit and uh, what you have to get ready to paint and so forth and as you can see in front of you I've got it all painted. Uh, but I figured I'd go through all the pieces and, and little chunks that you have to get done uh, in detail if you want to get it uh, detailed up really good. So there's quite a few pieces, not, not as many uh, on this body kit as the Defender 2015 Heritage version that I did uh, previously in some videos. And uh, if you go back into my channel, you'll see I did some pretty detailed body build and chassis build for the Galande 2. I'm not going to do that this time because there's a lot of builds out there, a lot of videos on the Galande 2 build. It's it's a pretty basic build and I've already got videos up of doing the chassis. So I just wanted to go over the body. So in front of you, you've got all the pieces uh, that you need to paint and uh, put together with the body. So we'll kind of go through it quickly and as you can see, uh, I've named this build the Cobalt Cruiser because I painted it in Cobalt Green. Um, that is Tamiya TS, hold on, I got it up here. Uh, that is Tamiya TS 102 right there. So that is the cobalt green that I painted the cruiser in. I did the interior in a burnt orange. The seats are done in a burnt orange. Uh, I did that also, that color on my uh, Defender 2015 Heritage Edition interior. I did the seats, uh, not solid like these ones, but uh, so we did those. I put them together first, not a great idea. It didn't fill in the edges of the, the back piece that you snap into place. Uh, I should have painted them separately, but I'm okay with it. It's the interior. It's hard to see when the, the truck is put together anyways, and I don't plan on running this with the roof off at all. Um, so yeah, so I did all those in the burnt orange. So they're all done. The front seats are done. The back seats are also finished in the burnt orange. Uh, so you've got uh, two, four, six, eight seat pieces that have to get done uh, if you don't want to just leave them that shiny, lovely black plastic look. I do have a few pieces here that I left that uh, just because I didn't want to waste my time in doing them in flat black. Uh, you get the main body piece. You get the roof piece, which comes in one piece. That is the light kit. I also have that. Uh, you get the, the roof piece is in, is in one, one piece so you have to do a lot of masking so i did the cobalt i did the window trim in black after i got the uh white and the cobalt down i masked it all off again and did all the window trim in black i think that really uh makes it pop out a little bit better than just leaving it the cobalt green so we got that done and you get the uh interior uh, dashboard so these are the decals uh here 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 and here and there that come in the kit uh, they also have a decal that covers this area here around the uh, the cluster and the glove box in here i painted those uh, silver i used a silver um, paint pen and i did those myself i just thought it looked better than the the, the gray kind of colorish uh, sticker that came with the kit so that's your interior uh, this is one piece so I masked off the bottom piece. Uh, I looked at some pictures online to, to get a, an idea of what the dash looked like back in, the, I think this is a 72 or a 73 cruiser. So this was a black padded part of the dash. So I, I masked that off, painted it black, uh, kept the pedals black, of course, and then the lower part here black. So that's your dash, your steering wheel, of course. Uh, your door panels, it does come with door panels, so everything fits into the tray. I'm kind of, I'm kind of bouncing around a little bit. Oh, there's another piece in there. So that's the, the interior tray. It sits this way. Back seats are, of course, back here. Your front seats, your dashboard, so on. So I painted that all the cobalt, and I did put a matte finish on it. Uh, on the whole thing, I painted the underside black because it'll it'll pop up into the, the main body piece. And I wanted the bottom to be black and uh, yeah so that you get that piece you get all your light trim so that's all for your light buckets um, all your trim everything for your light kit 
uh, you get the two uh, marker lights that go on the fender and in the kit in the light kit you get these two uh, it's hard for you guys to see that you get these two metal pieces that screw into the bottom of the body that hold your light kit in you also get it in the kit I did see it in the screw back for the kit so you do get the, those with the kit and you got your interior uh, this is your interior windows it just bolts to the, the top of the roof when you're ready to put that on the rig and there is the windshield in here somewhere so you get the windshield of course I left that no paint on that I kept it in the bag so that I wouldn't scratch it and mark it up before I start my install um, door panels so door panels I, I again went online and took some some looked at some pictures of of how they looked on the inside i buggered one thing up uh, a lot of them this this door latch this is the door latch detail how the door would close um, and lock closed it, it's usually black i did it in the silver again but these uh pieces here the panel here which is i believe removable uh your uh window up window down and your your pole I did them and I think that's a speaker and they were black also in the pictures that I saw so I detailed it that way uh, also silvered these rivets or whatever these are mimicking there I would assume rivets so that you get two of those door panels which fit into the the base um, what haven't we covered this is the cover for in the back there is this sits in the back I can show you this little piece here I didn't uh, paint that it's the the factory plastic uh, shine it sits in between these two sorry for the camera view guys it sits in here somehow some way this way and this is the cover for it so I don't know it, it's like a storage container I guess uh, in between the two seats so that's those two pieces so there are quite a few pieces here so that's them this is your grill piece this and there's a little metal piece that goes in with this one when you install your grill I also painted the grill I uh, took the chrome off it comes chromed I put some uh, easy off on it got the chrome off sanded it down with uh, 800 wet dry sandpaper did that with the whole body and all the pieces and then painted it white so the front end is white so that's for your front end you've got your uh, front window shroud i guess you would call it whatever the hell the thing is called so that's where your window will go in i also did the trim in that black so all the windows are trimmed in black except for on the doors because there's really no defined trim on the doors so and the doors don't come off on this rig and uh, it's not like the defender uh 2015 heritage edition the doors are, are solid so that's the only thing i didn't like about this kit is i wish they would have had opening doors I uh, should be able to get a good sized driver in, in this one though. Uh, there's quite a bit of space in there. Uh, we've covered that. Uh, your light buckets, your your lenses for your light buckets. So I did paint already the marker lights. I uh, used the Tamiya uh, clear, um, whatever the hell that stuff is. Uh, it's the acrylic. So I painted those. Those are all ready to go and get installed and i this is your roll bar set for the back so you get a roll bar set that goes in in the back portion of the rig and i've already taken uh the the two that go down the side they, they'll go in this way they sit in there kind of like that i've i've wrapped them with a hobby rope like it's it's like a old fashioned looking rope so i've wrapped that and how i did that i didn't glue that i just put double-sided tape uh, along there and then I wrap this on and then I just put a dab of uh, Tamiya cement on the end of it just to stop it from unraveling so I think that'll look pretty cool back there um, what else haven't we covered I think we've covered all the pieces and of course the little pieces here you got your your gear shifts and your four-wheel drive shift uh, this one I kept on the tree this is I think the emergency brake a uh, little piece there you got your hood uh, little um, windshield holders for the hood and I believe these parts here are for the side mirrors which I'm not sure I'm going to put on yet because they are hard plastic um, and, and I don't think they're going to last long especially out on the trail 
they did not last long on my defender i put the rubber ones on my defender and they don't hold on very well either they flip upside down so i'm not sure if i'm going to use those yet and then you've got of course your windshield wipers so you got two windshield wipers i might detail them out a little bit put some silver on there or something yet uh, but i'm at the point that i can put the body together i have not started the chassis um, but yeah it, it, it's a pretty basic build i think there is quite a big, few pieces here to put together but it uh it seems pretty easy to put together i don't like how the roof kind of matches up there's a few little pinholes so you got to make sure you trim everything up fit it really good before you you put everything in place I, i'm probably not going to glue it in because it does screw in at the back here and in the front there is two screw holes here that'll screw to the body and then two at the front that'll screw to the roof so i don't i don't think i'm going to have to glue that in but we'll see uh, how it looks because maybe one day I, i'll decide to run it with it off i'm not sure but yeah so i just wanted to pop in and and do a little different video i know all my last videos most of my last videos have been run videos um i've been getting out and getting some good videos there but i wanted to just go over the uh rc four wheel drive galande 2 fj cruiser body kit and show you what it is and and what it takes to to put it together and get it ready to put together so next th step for me is putting the body together i'll probably do the lights get the light kit in installed um basic light kit uh, this is from rc4 wheel drive hopefully you guys can see that part number z e0071 so that is for the fj cruiser that's the light uh, rc4 wheel drive light kit um what else can i tell you about the body I think that's about it. it took me a while to get the the paint done with all the masking and and waiting the 24 hours for it to kind of cure a bit and then masking again to do the the black portion of the windows same with the dashboard um yeah so that's that's the the basics of the uh, fj cruiser body kit from rc four wheel drive uh next step for me is to start putting it together and when i get it done i'll probably do another video just to show you the body complete maybe i'll i'll do a little bit on the light kit if there's issues with the light kit i don't see any issues with it but if how i run the wires maybe i'll show that but uh, the, the chassis build, I, I probably won't do any videos on that until I get the whole thing done. I've got uh, some more parts coming in for the chassis build. Um, waiting on some tires and rims. I went with uh, Patagonia's for the tires and the Landy's, white Landy's for the rims. I think it'll go good with the roof. I picked up some uh, the Ranch uh, Yoda 2 diff covers. I usually do the ARB, so I wanted to do something a little different on this one, so I also picked those up. And I've got a couple molar and ESC options coming in, I think, today. They should be here uh, at the house today. The, I've ordered the uh, 1080 G2 from Hobby Wing combo with, uh, I can't remember what the turn is on the motor, uh, so brushed uh, system. And then I've also ordered the fusion se 1800 kv so i have two of those two coming in today and i haven't decided which one i'm going to put in the cruiser uh, i'm thinking that that uh, the brushless might go into uh, my gatekeeper i've had that out a few times got a video up there if you haven't checked that video out please go check it out but yeah so just a quick review on the body hopefully i didn't take up too much of your time maybe 15 minutes and uh the next video uh on the fj cruiser build will probably be with the body done or with the body and the chassis done and we'll do an overview on on the build and what i did with my build so thanks everyone for watching thanks for all those new subscribers i i popped over 900 uh this past weekend which is awesome i appreciate that and thanks everyone for supporting and and hanging and staying with me through the years and uh, we'll see you at the next one everybody stay safe